Hello, so we want to look at the switching of a MOSFET using the microcontroller. And we're going to look at using the ESP32 because that's what we're going to be using in the lab. So here is our basic MOSFET. And so we're going to try and be switching. We're using this IRF530 and we're going to be switching to 20 ohm resistor. So you see we run this. You look at the voltage right here, it's going up and down, everything is great. Except for the fact that we're doing zero and 10 volts. Well, the microcontroller, the SP32, doesn't put out 10 volts, it only puts out 3.3 volts. So we're gonna come in here and change this down to 3.3 volts, run this, and so now you see it's going up between zero and 3.3 volts. I come over here and it's just 15 volts. It isn't switching at all. So what ends up happening is you can see that my gate voltage is only going up to three volts. Well, if I look at the specs, pick new MOSFET and look at this, we see right here that the threshold voltage is four volts. So we need to get above four volts in order to turn on the transistor. So this doesn't work. So what's gonna end up happening is, is that we need to take this 3.3 volt signal and, and change it to be rather than a 3.3 to be 10 volts or even 15 volts. So what we need is what is called a level shifter. Okay, so let's look at what we want to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to create another MOSFET as a switch to switch, but it's going to be a small MOSFET to switch the voltage, and then we're going to use the larger MOSFET to switch the current. Okay, so let's take and move this over here. Okay, so we're going to go and we're going to grab another MOSFET so we're going to grab an NMOS, but this time we're going to use a small MOSFET. So you can kind of see, we're going to end up using this 2N7002. And you can see that it has a threshold of 1.6 volts. It has a large R on and it has a much less voltage. So it can't handle the large current that the other one can. And then we're basically going to do the same thing that we did here, so here we're using the MOSFET to switch, so I'm just going to do the same thing here. So we're going to take this MOSFET and put it right here. We'll tie it down to ground and up to my power supply, which is this 15 volts. Okay, so we have this and it seems, oh, this will be great, so this will turn on and off. And then we're going to take and we're going to tie this gate over to here, okay? Now the problem is that this point right here is always tied. It's shorted to the 15 volts. Well, I want it to be either 15 volts or I want it to be off. Or the other way to look at it is when this goes into triode, it's like a closed switch. I'm basically taking this 15 volt source and shorting it to ground. Uh, we don't want that, so we're going to throw a resistor in here. And so the resistor here is going to change, same thing like this resistor here is going to change between this point being tied to ground or open and having this point tied up to the 15 volts. So let's just put in a kilo ohm. So then we get to 15 milliamps that's going through here. So now let's run this. So right here, here is our zero and three volts. You see that means our gate is zero and three volts. And then this voltage right here, first of all, we noticed that we've inverted it. So we got to pay, pay attention that we're inverting it. So a high voltage here creates this goes into triode, which means this goes to zero. So a high voltage goes to a low voltage. Low voltage here means that this goes up to the 15 volts. And so it acts as an inverting configuration. So what we see here is, is that it'll switch up. And then if I look at the current or the voltage right here, you see now it's switching between the zero and 15 volts. Everything is working fine. So this MOSFET right here is called a level shifter. Now, some of the problems we run into, just like we did before, if I were to zoom in on these, 
you see I get this turn on delay just like we saw before with single MOSFET. So I get a turn on delay of this one and a turn on delay of that one. And so now you see that it takes, you know, from when this turns on to when this one turns off, we got to watch this turn on delay because we're trying to get a large voltage to go in here. So, but this level shifter is how I get this fast turn on. And the smaller this resistor is, the more current it draws, the faster everything's going to switch. But the problem is that if this is, when this turns on, if this is a small resistor, then this transistor is just, this is just sinking power without any benefit.